come to see Wal Scott in his uh, place and we've gone to the vault, grabbed a load of track tops and some trainers and we're going to have a little chat. Not seen Wal for a while. Great to see you. All a pleasure. Always, always a pleasure. Uh, known him over a decade and it's the first time that we have an action picture together as well. <laughs> <Brilliant>. <laughs> absolutely blown away when I unwrapped it so I actually put it up on my um, page just to show the world. I do love a bit of yellow with yeah. creamy white it's and grey. I mean, absolutely beautiful, I mean that with the zipless arms as well. They just don't make things like this anymore. We'll have a go, we'll have a go. <laughs> I hope so. As soon as I got here I had to get reacquainted with this Tahoe Sergio, another one that probably overdue a bit of a bring back, see if we can encourage Nick Love to get this one in one of his series. And another one, pretty damn rare, we thought we'd play Name the Track Top, we're hoping someone's going to be watching this mm. that can come with a name. I've had it for some years now and it's... Uh, I've never seen it. In the summer it, it zips up yet again in the arms, absolute magnificent piece comes off quite easily, detaches and you can zip it right back up again. Still going with the Sergio's, probably late 70s, 80s. Yeah, possibly. I'd definitely side with that. We're thinking of the name, so I've got one colourway here, the cream navy red, and then there's a sort of reverse, various names over the years. Is it Monte Carlo or is it Winner? Maybe someone can name it, but Wall's telling me it's Monte Carlo. If yeah. I like it, I call it a Winner. Yeah, Chris so I'm calling it a Winner. winner. Neil's trying to confuse the thing, come on now. But this has never been out as a reissue, so again, never. another one to think about and sort me out. Sort yeah, me yeah out. of course, got to sort you out. Got to look the so place. let's have another look at that there, one. There you go. And that's where people go wrong. Because of the tennis, you need the wide angles. Remind me of the name? Yeah, it's the Olympic 2. So yeah, there was Olympic, Olympic 1, and never had the stripes, and then and you got the Olympic the 2. Yeah. This is the original tagged and bags, because the bags right behind me, and it is the original tattoo iceberg. The big thing for our lads was we called it the be someone because Danny Dyer looks up in the sky wearing mm -hmm. his top and then when he heads to Spain he's wearing it as he arrives in the airport so it was Huge. the only top from the business that hadn't been out so I think that's the case. Pulled out a few one-offs I do like the look of this uh, Lacoste Sportif a lovely design Arthur Ashe so it's a reissue in it but um, yes. it's got to be a proper 70s with he, Arthur Ashe yeah. isn't it? Arthur Ashe was 70s with Jimmy Connors and yes. you get the bomber the top walk collar from that era. We go into another yeah. little one-off Lacoste yeah. with the chemise. Renowned yeah. Lacoste chemise. Yeah. Pretty rare find that one. Was that the cock size at the time? Yeah that's the cock varied? size at the time. I'd be loving the Lacoste to bring something like that back. Yeah they'd be but beautiful. We'll have to have a go at them see how we get on. Another classic Kappa, 1984. That's the official sponsor of the US track and field team. That was a great team. I think Carl yeah. Lewis was winning multiple medals, maybe he got four. The long jump 100. Probably, um, probably something else. Two relays? Yeah, two relays. I was wise enough to do a reissue in this exact one and exactly. it, it was a banger at the time. Yeah, we absolutely well. nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Proud of him for that one. Uh, <laughs> well, another, what I reckon must be an early doors, Sergio. I mean, the logo in looks pretty different than it made in Italy. We wouldn't know the age. This is allegedly supposed to be. And I do believe the person who bought it up as well. As a birthday for my 50th, it's absolutely it's beautiful. I know with the early Tachini you always get the, yep. the coloured in Very tea. Good. We've seen one yeah. actually on our travels, but with just a shirt collar, but this is actually full yeah, zip final. Yeah. We've got some uh, great bring back Satanas here that were pretty rare, that Wells dug out for us. Mm. All coming with a little 80s casuals track top badge on, which is great. You're wearing grey black, that yep. was a bit of a winner at the time. Yes, yeah, still you, is. And you still get wear a wear out of that? Oh, I have each other. Yeah. We can't sort of name the colour. I said Raspberry salmon. pink. I don't know about yeah, like My salmon. salmon don't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a story yeah. here, isn't it? This, we think, is proper rare. 
Maybe it was a one-off. It was a one-away. I bought this off a guy called Danny Hale. We then campaigned hard, didn't we? Now? You did campaign hard, Thank yeah. Thank you very much. And I yeah. thought, that's going to be hard work. So yeah. I said, come on, that's you're good. all going to have to show me a bit of confidence to bring yeah. something back. And at yeah. the time, Felix said they'd do me a limited 150. <laughs> yeah. As long as we go with, with this their one. mustardy orangey colour, I guess. Yeah. More so. This is the bring back that yeah. come off the back of this. But it's all about this baby. You want to... <laughs> lot of talk on the feeler Mark II at the minute with a rare fine yellow. He's being worn in a town called Malice and started appearing in all the advertising at the minute. So that yellow is actually from me. These original Mark IIs. And people talk about a white. If you notice, this white is looking pretty happening and looking pretty similar. This beauty was brought back by 80s casuals. People have obviously seen the badge yeah. and thought it's an original. It's original. Probably the scale of it, it's not too obvious. Yeah. But that is not a BJ on there. Nope. That These... is 80s casuals. I don't think there has been an original white. I don't think there is. No. Another rare piece, I mean, I haven't seen it, but where did this come by? So what's the story? I bought this off a collector many moons ago. He wanted to sell up. It's more of a jacket than a track yeah. when it the fabric. The feel of it is like a terry towelling feel. It mm. just feels a bit more American yeah, than I, the English, like that. what was going at the time. Yeah, I'll go with that. Because they've got the badge on the yarn this time, haven't they? Here's a top that a lot of people ask about. There's a few lads in the firm wearing it. I think Jay wore one. I think he's getting off the train Try to a town called Malice. Yeah. And we're saying about one, the name, who was wearing them at the time. Yeah, it's more like the B-boys and hip-hop guys for removable arms, it's, as you can see. Someone has definitely got a collection of yeah. two or three of these. <laughs> We've picked out a few trainers and stuff I want to chat about and stuff I'm excited about. Puma Tara. Sahara. Sold them before but never in a, a leather. Oddly, I think um, in other colourways they might come yeah. in. Yeah. Nylon and nylon suede. Suede, that's right. Yeah, We've got a bit of a thing going with Puma and as long as the footbed has been used already we've got a chance of doing it. So this oh, is right. very similar to like Aroma. Yeah, that's Foot right. Aroma. So we've got every chance of seeing that come back really. That is a Puma. Damn. Alice. Yeah, classic. The old Again, classics, yeah. I would have said breakdance era. Is that yeah, not right? Puma all over it, yeah, Puma, Puma with, Puma the, with the, 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 the lino, breakdancing with the ghetto blaster. Classic colourway, yeah. navy. No, no, Sky, classic. is it Navy RG? Yeah, we've got the RG, yeah. 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 yeah, we've been selling the GV last yeah. at yeah. the minute mm -hmm. with the thicker, Thick but they also so brought it out in the, in the thinner no. leather yeah. with new buck, I call it. Correct. As well as the efforts and memories to bring back the football trainers, Wold well brought back some images of some other styles. And I know back in the day, squash and badminton there was quite go. key in the business. There is an image of Jeff Bell. He actually wears a pair. They did it for the courts, so they didn't mark the floors. I do really like it. these in the green blue. We're looking at a sort of version of Copenhagen, which right. is a white sole, not gum, okay. but I am liking the gum. Yeah. This one's interesting. I mean, I've lived and loved Reebok Classics, and right. it's kind of given me Reebok <laughs> Classic vibes. <laughs> it's either a track and field or for an Astro turf from back in the day. Do you think music? it maybe could be a runner? Yeah, could or be a runner. Be. Well, it's got Patrick International. International. This is a Patrick style I've seen. I mean, Wall showed me this colourway. I'm yeah. sure I've seen a uh, light blue with maybe a navy Shanks stripe as well. as well. Yeah, for each year, and I do believe it's definitely 80s. And I can't emphasize the quality of the suede of do this. Do you think they were trying to make a fashion shoe at this point? Well, it's, it's a strong possibility because that olive, that army type You've thing. You've got to wonder what sport it would be with yeah. it to go olive. Well, it wasn't so much olive, it's, it's just the structure, it's the, the comfort. It's been great to come around and see the vault. Well, so much to look at, we could have been there all day. I'm sure <laughs> now I know what's here, there's going to be need for me to still pull some bits out and stuff. And absolutely love yeah. me little, uh, oh, I wasn't going to say nothing, my navy sky <laughs> top. I was like, about to go off without Where, you, go, where are you going? <laughs> oh, <fuck yeah. laughs> this is a little 80s casual for me, missus put it together for me. 80s casual presents Wold Scott as an official 80s casual classics legend. <laughs> there you go mate. That's the photo we wanted.